How are masculinity and femininity often portrayed in media? Um, they're usually portrayed as opposites. Um, feminine characteristics are, you know, uh, obedience and pretty things, and they're often, oh, those silly women. And femininity is usually about showing off the most skin or being the most giggly. Pretty much it's it's portrayed as this weak, slim, slight woman that is sassy. Lots of sassiness. Or terribly, terribly coy and uh really stereotypically. Contemporary models of femininity are always based around physical beauty. Um maybe to some degree a, a different a different type of strength. Uh, maybe not so much centered around work, but maybe uh, in some cases, um, I think even emotional strength, but also emotional weakness, um, at least stereotyped in some uh, media outlets. You, I don't think the media has fully grasped what uh, femininity means. Um, they mean they. It's gotten to a point where femininity is the idea that, uh, like, woman power, that it has to be, like, women take over everything and rise up against the oppressing men. Or it, what it, I feel it should mean, femininity means uh, a woman is agent in her life, that she has control over her life. So masculinity and femininity just come down to a man or a woman being in control of their life, I should feel. You can say in feminine scene is weak and demure and soft-spoken. Both of them are highly sexualized these days. Femin femininity both less so and more so. And then the other, ma the other major point is that masculinity is seen as being good and that's something to strive to and femininity is seen as being something to strive away from. So it really depends. There's kind of like an equilibrium in most of the shows that I watch on TV as to who is... Um, in control of the situation and how they're in control of the situation. So it varies. It's a lot different than when I was a kid, when it was just the male said, this is how it's done and that's it. And a lot of the shows were versus family shows where the father was in control or um, it was always a male that was the host of the show where today you have both female and male host of shows that are going on. And it used to be only male anchors, not female anchors, and today that's changed. Uh, masculinity and femininity. Well, as, as somewhat of a sociologist, I don't know, it's interesting to see how it's portrayed, but in contemporary media, masculinity is usually, you know, kind of, um, you know, muscles, you're chiseled, you know, the, the American model of um, the male part of the species, you know, bringing home, you know, the, the bacon, so to speak, you know, doing, doing work, um, supporting the family, being protective, like those are all male models of, I think, what media is. And then... Um, In contemporary media. Masculinity is very much hard, strong, big, me, man, you, woman. Um, you do, if we're going with just straight up media, we'll definitely see a lot of tropes where like masculinity is uh, physical strength. But I feel that that is simply an extension of the idea of agency. Um, that physical strength is the idea that you are age, agent with your life, but we can definitely see a masculine character that may not be physically strong, but has a high amount of agency. With femininity... A lot of masculinity revolves around making really stupid, uh, immature jokes. Most of the time it's the men are manly and the women are um, really stereotypical. Sometimes you get them different, like Supernatural, okay? Those characters are great characters, um, Sam and Dean Winchester, but they're also really stereotypically male. 
um, in that Dean is the super uh, hardcore masculine one, and Sammy is still is understanding but still super masculine. Um, and so you get variations, but they're still masculine and feminine. Um, it's the, it's a di it's a definite dichotomy that you're one or the other, and that masculinity is seen as always being um, strong and physically demanding and tough as nails and whatnot, and never crying and never showing emotion, except in a few um, um, pre-approved areas. I guess. As men are more the ones in control, the main characters, the ones you're supposed to cheer for, it's very, um, men are allowed to make mistakes and women are not. I believe masculinity and femininity are often portrayed in a often sh half or one or the other representation that you're all or none of one of these attributes and it often leaves characters being one-dimensional and not reflecting the true um, diversity we have in real people that no one is strictly just one, that we're usually a mixture of a little bit of each.